Um, I'd like to welcome, of course, Bobby, Catherine and the family. Uh, so many faces here from Celtic and Rangers uh, as well. It's great to see the likes of Bertie and, uh, and John and Jim and, and George and John Gregg as well. A funny moment inside when John was standing talking to Bobby. And he turns and he says, it's the closest I've got to him in 50 years. <laughs> Without putting the studs in. Um, as I said, Bobby is a, he's a legend to so many people around the world, so many football fans. But we're here today because, you know, we all know Bobby, or many of us know Bobby, and, and Bobby is, he's one of us. And that's the reason why we're here, to, to pay our respects, and that's why this statue is here in Saltcoats and, and not at Celtic Park because Bobby, above anything else, is a, is a Saltcoats man and a, and a Three Towns man. Um, and it's great to see so many people here today to pay tribute. <laughs> Bobby's friend and teammate and fellow Lisbon line, John Clark, along with uh, Tony Savage, the father of uh, Corporal William Savage, uh, are going to be unveiling this marvellous John McKenna statue in just a few minutes. Before though, uh, that to speak on behalf of Bobby's family, I'd like to welcome up onto the stage Bobby's nephew, also Bobby, to say... Just perhaps get to either side of the statue and get ready for the... Uh, for the big unveiling. All it needs now is a countdown. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven just pull up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 